What is the LO and VFO? These are the two frequencies you see most often in SDR Uno. The one of primary concern to you will be the VFO frequency. This is the frequency shown in RX control, in this case 14.165 MHz, and also in the frequency spectrum window, the larger digits at the top of the display. This is the frequency that you're tuned to, so you would adjust this frequency to tune into a station you want to listen to. The LO does a lot of uh, work behind the scenes, although it's of less concern to you. It is the frequency of the synthesizer within the RSP, and it determines the center point of the spectrum window that you're looking at. So in this case, 14.165 MHz will be the center of the window. The other thing that affects what you see in this window is the width. And the width is derived from the final sample rate that you've got set up in SDR Uno. In this case, it's uh, with a sample rate of 2 MHz and a decimation of 1, the final sample rate is still 2 MHz. And that's reflected in the width of the display down here, span 2000 kHz or 2 MHz. So as we tune around the band, and here I'm using the scroll wheel, what we see is that as we change the frequency we're tuned to, the uh, LO changes correspondingly. Um, so for the most part, you can forget about the LO, but there is one important exception, and that's when you're in zero IF mode, which we're in right, right now. And in zero IF mode, you never want to be in this situation where the local oscillator frequency and the VFO frequency match. And that's because of a quirk of the way that SDRs work in zero IF mode, whereby there is a center DC spike at the LO frequency. So to get around that, what you would do is you would click one side or the other to generate some separation between the LO and the VFO frequency. Again, the frequency we're tuned to here is 13.99 MHz. The LO is down there on 14.185. Now, the only reason that LO is important at all is that it can be illustrated if I change to, say, 7 MHz. And what's happened is um, the LO has also changed down to 7.195 MHz, which is just as well because now the, the window we're looking at is centered on 7.195 and so we can see the 7 MHz frequency we're tuned to. If the LO had not changed, if it was still up at 14 MHz, then we'd be still looking at a spectrum centered on 14 MHz and we wouldn't see the signal we're tuned to at 7 MHz. So um, that's basically all there is to it. You don't need to worry about the LO very much unless you're in zero IF mode. And in fact, on SDR Uno 1.4, there is now the ability to automatically generate an offset between the local oscillator frequency and the frequency you're tuned to, and you could specify that to be any number you like. And, and that means that automatically the software will never allow you to tune to exactly the same frequency as the LO.